Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of June the 20th to the 27th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest, truly thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing my videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people to my circle requesting readings and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you require clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I welcome and invite you to go to my private website and that is www.brendatarot, spelled T-A-R-O dot info. See you soon. We start our week, Virgo, on Monday with a fire card and you have been given the six of fire. Fire has to do with, it represents our ideas and our inspirations and where we feel passion and display that creativity and how we set our dreams into motion and self-development and sometimes risk-taking and adventure. This Six of Fire is telling me this is a victory card. Good news is on its way for some of you. And it's almost as though you're going to get public recognition. And some of you, they actually show me that you're going to be receiving an award. On Tuesday, the Unity card. I like this card. The Unity card is all about bringing people uh, and working in groups and bringing people into your circle that have the same sort of integrity and the same morals that you do. Um, it's working in groups that enrich you, actually, and uh, you're going to be seeing traditional viewpoints or methods. Know that you're going to be able to seek out mentors and like-minded friends that you're going to bring into your circle. Um, this will lift any blocks that have been uh, holding you back on manifesting your own goals. On Wednesday, crowning your week, a water card. This is the relationship card, page of water. Uh, relationships can be platonic uh, or they can be romantic. This one is telling me that there's going to be a new person entering your life. And they do show me this as a young individual. It can be a male or a female. Uh, not quite uh, an adult. This is a young individual or perhaps it's an adult that tends to be uh, young at heart or have... Uh, the appearance of a pe of being younger. Anyway, this is going to this new person coming into your life is going to uh, enter your life, and this relationship will begin a new phase for you in your life. For others, I'm seeing that you're tapping into your psychic ability. You're, they're going to become more enlightened. On Thursday, you've been given an air card. Four of air. Air has to do with uh, mm, uh, those troubling situations we don't like to deal with. Uh, drama and chaos and injustice and often sometimes uh, it has to do with dealing with legal issues and lawyers. Uh, it's telling me that some of you are, have been dealing with these challenges and you're exhausted and you just want to run away and take a vacation. But you may not have the time, effort or resources and uh, there is uh, a decision that it shows me some of you need to make but it's telling me that you need to allow more time before you do this, before you make this decision. They're saying that meditation will provide the answers. So take yourself to that, that place you like to go. Take yourself to the silence and just be quiet within yourself. And you often will find the answers to the questions that will bring you your peace. On Friday, another air card. This is the page of air. So, yes, there's some challenging information coming in. It's going to come in in the form of a truthfulness, and the person delivering it doesn't have a whole lot of tact or finesse. So, please don't attack this individual coming with this message for you. Just receive the message because it's coming in as a form of truthfulness. On Saturday, relationship card, water card, seven of water. <clears throat> Shows me that there's a complex decision about to be made that some of you have to make. Uh, but they want you to do your research because um, you need to know before you go in there and make that decision. But they want you to do it because uh, this card tells me that you have to stop procrastinating and make this decision. Be prepared, though. On Sunday, the end of the week, Two of Water, again, another relationship card. 
this uh, card tells me that there there are those in a relationship and it's continuing to grow closer now and the reason it's continuing to grow closer is because the word they give me is forgiveness and forgiveness is going to be the positive resolution to any little conflict that you've had in this relationship at the end of the reading I did incorporate that one Oracle card and again I'm using the Ascended Masters work your magic my friend that's your card so dote on your strong uh, personality traits and your person uh, and your your strong gifts the best gifts that you have uh, your best um, creativity uh, what is the best about you work your magic bring that out onto your platform don't dote on your negative issues that will cause you to feel um, it'll cause you to it'll make you lack confidence to be able to move forward on your path so that's what they're showing me work your magic you got it there my friends so pick your strong traits and use them to your best advantage I wish you a great remainder to today Virgo and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to again I have another quote for you this week and the quote I chose today is do not be impressed by money, followers, degrees, or titles. Be impressed by generosity, integrity, humility, and kindness, my friend. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to again. And I look forward to seeing you next week again. But remember, I continue to stand in the circle of light for you.